Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond! Last time on Chibi Robo, we started our first exploration of the Sanderson house in the daytime. Now that the people are awake, the toys have stopped moving, but we still ran into some free rangers who weren't happy to see us. We managed to get past them and head into the basement where the strange noises from last night were coming from. Once we got down there, we found a giant robot that zapped us out of commission once we plugged into it. What will be the fate of our hero? Let's find out now on Episode 5 of Let's Play Chibi Robo. Let's hurry and get out of here! Huh? Oh! In your eyes! You fried a circuit! No! Don't! Chibi Robo! Don't die! No! Chibi Robo, you died. Huh? Ah! What phone call for Telly? You gotta go. Seriously, Telly. Seriously, I'm dead, you're just gonna leave my corpse here to get attacked by this thing? Or not. Woo! I can't believe he can move after all this time! I wonder what this might be. But more importantly... Chippy Robo! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too hilarious. We were just getting the yeast in this house. And now you die and leave me all alone! 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 Yeah. Would you just shut up already, Telly? I'm already alive! <laughs> I'm so glad, Chibi Robo. I thought you'd kick the bucket. But I suppose I shouldn't have worried. I was gonna fix you no matter what, even if I had to use my own parts. That sounds sexual. So tell me, did you dream? Uh, yeah, we did dream, actually. You didn't dream, right? Wait, what? It's quite possible that you downloaded from Giga Robo's memory banks. Alright, first off, how do you know this thing's name is Giga Robo? And second, why did you ask me if I was dreaming in the first place if you're gonna say I wasn't dreaming? Woo, all this excitement has really tuckered me out. I'll see you later, Chibi Robo. And you know what else is even more pointless? He left, and now as soon as we pick up this thing, the Giga Battery, he's just gonna come back. Chibi Robo, wow, that's a... Uh, what is it? If you plan to take that battery... I'd think he'd charge it up and bring it back in one piece. One piece? He said one piece and he's a pirate. You know what that means, right guys? Yarr. 
And yet, that's not what you want, is it, me colossal matey? If only you could speak to me, Gigarobo. What? Is that really a Gigarobo? You just said it was a Gigarobo, Telly! What the fruit? Is he dead? Robots don't die, you flying buoy! Alright. He sure is big. He's a lot taller than you, Chibi Robo. One moment, according to my data. He is a very old model. He started a trend known as Giga Robo Fever a long time ago. But his energy consumption was too high and his popularity plummeted. Shut your blow hole! You think you're smart, but you know nothing about him! I'm sorry! Anyway, thank you very much! If you'll excuse me! For all your sales, matey! You come blowing in here like a summer squall and leave without introducing yourselves? I'm sorry! Uh, my name is Telly, and that over there is Chibi Robo. Don't mind him, he doesn't talk much, or at all, because he can't talk. Rub it in your face, Chibi Robo, suck it! And who might you be? <laughs> It's about time, he asked! I'm the scourge of the seven seas, the overlord of the ocean's blue, the king of all pirates, Gold Roger, Captain Blankbeard! What? You're a pirate? No, he's a businessman! Are you, or at least I used to be. Now I'm nothing more than a shipless landlubber. Oh, and how'd you lose your ship? It sailed in the morning while he was having dinner. That tail's as long as the sea be deep, and as sad as a tailless mermaid. But me throat's as parched as me soul, so I'll be saving me story for a bit. Yar, he loves the taste of water. Yep, that's water. Totally not anything else. Water. What say ye? Will ye return some day and listen to me sad tale of woe? Yes, I promise. Gar. Never make a promise ye can't keep. That's the pirate's code. Ye do well to remember me words, ye overgrown piece of plankton. Uh, sure. I won't forget them. Even if I die, I'll come back. What did I tell ye? Robots don't die, and you don't get to scurvy neither! You're right! That giga battery's no good by its lonesome. You need to search the house and find the giga charger. Well, that was scary. Anyway, let's go back. And by let's, I mean you. So, um, we got this... Okay, wow, we got clean, but wow, I got the board is like glitching the screen and stuff like that. We have bonuses. Uh, 15 happy points, and our Moolah bonus is 47. So you see the climbs up pretty quickly. So, just clean this last little bit. Uh, the thing glitching on the screen right here is over here, actually. And you need to activate this cutscene in order to interact with it, which is sort of weird. Alright, so. That looks like it's about to snap. Like my pants. What? Equip the Chibi Blaster and take aim with the Chibi Vision. Alright, so real quick, I just want to clean up this last stain, and then we'll go charge real quick. Alright, let's pick up the plug. Now, as you can see, we're getting more into the, like, the main core of this game scene. It's not all about cleaning and stuff like that. So, this game does have a lot more depth to it, and I really love the story and just all the characters in it. The characters are what make the game, just like Phoenix Wright, but it's just amazing. You're just gonna love seeing it, like, if you haven't played this game before, and did not mean to save, so whatever. Alrighty, let's go. 
Alright, so what we're going to want to do is go over here now and blow this thing up. Now, something else that Chibi Vision could do is once you're in first person view, you can actually see every item that's in the area. So, um, if you're having trouble finding frog rings or just any item really, it shows you where it is. You can see the Giga Charger is right here in the basement. There's gunpowder and another frog ring. So, yeah, it makes it really easy to find items in this game. So, let's just shoot this down. I said shoot it down. Mind where you aim that thing, laddie! I did not see anyone hurt by your careless ways! Alright, so Plankbeard's probably one of my favorite characters. He's just really super awesome and everything. And something else I forgot to mention about the Chibi Blaster. If you shoot toys with it, uh, it usually makes something weird happen on their bodies. So, so you can see it like shakes his mustache. It's kind of weird. Alright, I like his just, name is just Plankbeard because he's made of wood. Neat. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to want to do is go up here now, and we have like a really weird picture right here. Maybe this Mrs. Sanderson, her hippie days or something like that. I don't know. Uh, now there's a hidden chibi door around here somewhere. Not here, so let's just pull out this brick right here. Excuse me, pull this out. Alright, let's climb up the brick, and I believe the chibi door is right over here maybe. No. Alright, if it's not... It's here, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yep, here it is. Alright, sorry again, I'm just being a little rusty, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot better than just unknowing where they are in general, pretty much, whatever. Just this. Alright, so what have you guys been doing lately? I've pretty much just been... I do finished Pikmin 3. I actually just wrote a review about it on, like, DVR and stuff, if you want to go check that out. It was just an amazing game in short. Just, long story short, it was a fantastic game, and we got gunpowder right there, as you saw. Uh, as a kid, I always pronounced it as Gumpawooder. I don't know why. Like, I didn't see the O or something. I or something. I don't know. I pronounced it Gumpawooder. I don't understand, really. So, we're just going to fly over here now and pull out this brick. And we're going to create a shortcut uh, back up here so we don't have to do this whole thing again. So, as soon as we get over here uh, to this birdhouse, we act like we're about to trip and fall, but we don't actually do that. And it brings that rope down. What are you doing, Chibi? Tis a dangerous game you be playing. Yar, what be this? I, I see. You're searching for Giga Robo's Giga Charger. Chibi, me lad, you're a slippery, leave. slippery fish to get a handle on. Yar. Slippery? What? I don't know. Maybe because I was talking about One Piece and a bunch of Japanese pronunciations rubbing off on me, mixing up my L's and R's. Alright, let's go up here now, and with, like, very little energy left, let's try to get this chibi over here, and then we'll go down and charge like a lame person. Alright, so just pick up the plug, and here we go. So, besides Pikmin 3, I also pre-ordered a bunch of games I pre-ordered. Uh, let's talk about the stinking Sonic Lost World content. Like, I pre-ordered Sonic Lost World. Like, oh, come on. You have to get... Oh, no. Oh, come on. Really? Oh! If you open it now, you'll die! You'll die! Does someone open it? I like how they give you the option still, like if you want to die. Alright, hurry up and recharge. Yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, if you don't get every Moola coin in there, then it doesn't count as you getting the chibi door, so we're gonna have to go all the way back again. Yes. The basement only has four chibi doors, so it has the least amount, and I believe you can get all of them right now, so why not get them? Alright then, so let's charge real quick. Alright, that was close. Charge ten times, yeah, as randomly tell you will tell you how many times you've charged your battery, as weird as that is. Alright, so let's unplug. And just walk over here again. So now we can just climb up this rope to get to the area. We wanna go through the brick thing again. So if you don't know, Sonic Lost World just had like a thing announced like the Deadly Six edition of it, where like a bunch of knights villains from Knights into Dreams are gonna be in it. It's really weird. And you know what else is weird? Why there's a bird cage here and no bird. Apparently the Sanderson's kept a bird in the basement and left a bunch of turds and died or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. So, I'm just really super excited. I wasn't really excited for Lost World before, just cause, I guess, but whatever. I'm really excited for it now because of this whole, um, Knights content in it. But I'm just sort of, like, um, concerned about, like, how they're gonna use it. Like, how this works for continuity's sake. Cause they have, like, some really major Knights villains. They have, like, the main Knights villain in Sonic Lost World. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, like, canon or anything. 
but I won't I don't imagine some of those villains like working for someone else it's really kind of weird and it doesn't fit sit right with me but at the same time I'm happy that Knights is still being like uh, included in this thing the best thing about this is that we didn't even have to ask for it like the Knights in your dreams forums they didn't even have to like do any sort of petition or anything to like get this done it just happened so Sega does care about the Knights free I tried to say series and franchise at the same time I ended up saying theories uh, the Knights franchise and stuff like that, so it really is nice that it's still being, they still care about it, still, like, using it, but they don't overdo it and stuff like that. They have said that before in the past and stuff, like, uh, they compared it to Steven Spielberg's E.T., how the reason he won't remake it is because it would lose its magic and stuff like that, because it was just so important. So, the same thing with Knights, the reason there's not, like, a thousand Knights games, like, there are a thousand Sonic games is because they don't want to, like, um constantly juice this thing for all it's worth just for the sake of money it's like really important and stuff so i'm i'm glad that they don't juice it and milk it like that but i'm concerned about just like what this is all about and knights hasn't even been seen in these trails i don't know it'd sort of be cool to see sonic and knights team up and something like that but whatever but whatever just gonna stop talking about that i guess we let me know if you're excited about that besides that i also pre-ordered a uh, wonderful 101 of Rayman Legends, which is finally coming out. We're not going to talk about the whole thing about it being moot, delayed, and stuff like that, but whatever. Uh, and also, uh, Wind Waker HD. So, let me know what you're excited for. The Wii U's finally getting good games, finally. Well, it's finally getting games at all, I should say. So, like, as a Nintendo fan, I feel like I'm, re I'm realistic. I... Will defend, I will defend Nintendo to my grave. Like, I just love it so much and everything. But I will still always be realistic. I will never deny all the problems that Nintendo does or has or anything. It's definitely not perfect and no game company is. But, um, it's finally time for it to be start doing good. And as you can see, we already have all four chibi doors in the basement. Very, very good. Alright then. So let's go in here. So I'm finally excited that Wii U is finally getting some games and stuff. But... Um, it's been, like, so long. I just got new Super Luigi U. Um, I, I don't know, I still prefer physical copies over, um, digital copies, so that's why I got the physical version. The box is cool, it's green and stuff, but I guess every 360 game is green and stuff, but whatever. Let's just pick this up, and we have a new kind of trash here, as if anyone cares. We have an empty can! Alright. Let's get this, and over here is what we really came here for! The Giga Charger. You're the beard, says I. Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to Salem once more? Oh, Chibi, you're such a... Such a... I got one thing for you to remember. Don't use the outlets in the house when you fill her up. You'll be drawing so much power, the poor Sanderson's will go bankrupt. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with Giga Robo. Ain't that right, you giant can opener? Yar, I almost forgot Giga Robo be missing a leg, and no peg leg neither. If me memory serves, Captain Sanderson put it in a queer sort of treasure chest. Sort of a steel trunk with a handle. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you all for watching. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I'll see you all later for more Chibi Robo. Good night.